Neetu, I'm feeling hungry. Quickly give me my dinner. Just a second. Oh. Today, I've made your favorite stuffed brinjal. Oh wow, 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 wow! But this can't be the sole reason for you to be so chirpy. There's something more to it. Yeah, actually, you're going to become a father soon. What? Yes. What happened? Even after working relentlessly on the fields, we barely make our end meet. After father passing away, the yield has not been increasing, and the cost of farming has increased considerably. Yes. Even the usage cost of urea is increasing consistently. In such a condition, when we find it difficult to feed ourselves properly, how will we guarantee this baby a good future? So you see, the feeders of the nation are feeling helpless in bringing up their next generation. It may take you by surprise, but exhaustive use of urea is the main reason for increasing expenses and falling incomes of Dinesh and most other farmers like him in the country. Yes, urea is an extremely important nutrient for crops, but statistics show that not only the ratio of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium used per hectare is extremely distorted, but is being excessively used in almost all primary agricultural areas. According to scientists, the ratios of NPK for healthy land and crops should be 4 is to 2 is to 1. The story of the nation Neetu is not focused on their struggles and sacrifices, but actually about overcoming them with latest agriculture knowledge and understanding, a step towards a brighter future. Dinesh, listen, listen. Oh my God, just this morning I told you not to come to the field, but look at it, you are running here. You should have called me. You forgot your phone at home. Anyway, Ramesh Mama Ji called and I told him about our problem. So he asked me to tell you to attend today's e-seminar in which many agricultural scientists and successful farmers from across the country are participating. He has even sent the link for the same on your phone. Oh yeah. Ramesh Mama has been growing really healthy crops for the past two years. Alright, let's go now. I'll do the rest of the work tomorrow. Dear farmers, if we provide excess amounts of urea to the soil, the crops grow succulent and very green. This attracts a lot of insects, pests and diseases. Secondly, farmers here do not provide enough potassium to the crop, due to which the stem of the plant loses the strength and becomes weak, resulting in lodging of the crops. When grains touch the ground, the quality of grain deteriorates. The environment is also negatively impacted. And if the quantity of nitrate in groundwater increases beyond 10 ppm, then it becomes very harmful, especially for children as it adversely affects their health. We provide 0 to 200 250 grams of nitrogen per hectare to crops. When we do this, we get a sigmoid curve. This sigmoid curve refers to that particular stage from where if you continue to increase the quality of nitrogen, it will not increase the yield but the farmer's cost of cultivation will increase and the net income will reduce. If you are eating food and you have taken lot of rice on your plate but very little dal, will you be able to eat and get adequate nutrition? Similarly is the case of our crops when we provide them distorted ratios of nutrition with excessive urea and reduced quantities of other nutrients. Fellow farmers, our crop requires around 70 nutrients in total out of which 3 they directly take from the atmosphere and the remaining 14 they get either from the soil or we, farmers, buy them and enrich the soil with the same. If the crops get sufficient amounts of the required nutrients, then there will be great improvements in its growth and quality. Crop is supplied nitrogen through different ways. One is when we grow legume crops, they have the ability to fix the nitrogen from the atmosphere and make available the nitrogen to the associated crop either in intercropping systems or in rotation. Other one is whatever crop we harvest after taking away the economic yield, for example in rice, after we take away the grain, whatever residues that are left, straw, 
if we return it back to the soil it also adds nitrogen we should practice nutrient management in such a way that all the nutrients that the plant requires whether primary or secondary are available to the crop in adequate amounts the solution to this is enhancing use efficiency of urea which will help us produce more in less expenditure and help to feed nation's growing population and hunger nitrogen use efficiency refers to the ability of the crop to use the maximum amount of nitrogen that is available in the soil and this depends on multiple factors like the type of soil you have which fertilizers you are using what is the ph balance of the soil how is its electric conductivity does it have enough salts what is the source of water which crops are you planning to grow what kind of seeds being used whether it's hybrid seeds or local seeds so these are the various factors depending on which you can increase the efficiency of nitrogen use in your soil the maximum use efficiency of urea is between 30 to 35 percent when a farmer adds urea in the soil it is converted to ammonia and from ammonia it converts into nitrate some crops which grow in puddle soil such as paddy are the only ones that uses nitrogen in ammonical form rest all the crops use nitrogen only when it gets converted into nitrate the conversion of nitrogen into ammonia or nitrate is possible because of bacterial activity in soil and how will these bacteria develop only when the soil has enough organic matter the overall soil health in our country should be improved in terms of the containing organic carbon once the organic carbon content in our soils is more then the kind of nitrogen supply it gives the kind of optimization makes a lot of difference that way also the nitrogen use efficiency and the nitrogen requirement will also will become very optimized we should understand that by using drip irrigation and mixing urea in the water and then irrigating the crops excessively enhance nitrogen use efficiency we have seen that the drip is usually kept on the ground but now a new type of drip is used where the drip is positioned 20 cm under the ground and because of this the nitrogen that we mix in the water to supply to the crop directly reaches the roots of the crop this way we have succeeded in reducing the amount of nitrogen used to around 120 kg the amount of nitrogen to be given to specific crops can be determined by getting the soil tested we have got a soil health card we get our farm soil tested thoroughly and then we fertilize our soil on the basis of the results of this test the real question is how do we decide the right time and right quantity of urea that is to be used after getting the soil tested we realize that 100 kg of nitrogen needs to be mixed in the soil then we need to divide these 100 kg into three sections 50% of nitrogen should be given while sowing the crop so that the growth of the crop is healthy The other 50% should be further divided into two parts of 25 to 25% when it's 25 to 35 days old and the remaining 25% should be given when the crop is approximately 2 months old or when it starts flowering which ensures that crop utilizes the complete amount of nitrogen provided secondly irrigate the crop properly so that the layer of the soil and the roots of the crop remain moist and all the nutrients can be absorbed by the root dinesh and neetu come across one more fact that crops which are excessively cultivated in india such as paddy wheat corn and which consumes heavy amount of urea the requirement of urea application may be understood through leaf color chart green seeker and nutrient expert which determines when and how much nitrogen to be added in the soil our punjab agriculture university has developed a leaf color chart It has 5 to 6 strips with various leaf colors. Around 10 healthy plants are chosen from the farm which has to be fertilized and then the color of the topmost leaf of these plants is matched with this leaf color chart. If the hue of green of the leaf is less than what it should be, we advise the farmer to add 25 kg of urea. Earlier I used to mix around 200 to 250 kg of urea in about 3 acres of land. But ever since I started using the leaf color chart I use only 25 to 30 kg of urea in one shift. I repeat this in three similar shifts. Green seeker is meant for farmers who use android phones. 
Basically, the Green Seeker gives NDA readings, which one should note down. There is a mobile app called Urea Calculator, where one has to enter these readings and then it will calculate how much nitrogen the soil requires at the point of time. Nutrient Expert is also a software which needs input from the farmer, such as which crop did you have sown before this? Is the straw cultivated back in the field or not? Did you provide FYM to the soil? After feeding all these information, it calculates that what is the status of nutrients and what need to be supplied to the soil, what amount of nutrients soil requires, depending on the crop the farmer is planning to grow. Since we have started taking recommendations from the nutrient expert, we started giving myriad of potash. Whether we use NPK or DAP, we fix the quantities of urea that should be given in the basal dose after 10 to 15 days and after 20 to 25 days. After that, we do not give any urea. The soil health has deteriorated over a period of time. I could not reduce the amount of urea in the soil at once, so I reduced it slowly over a period of time. Now, over a period of 10 years, the quantity of urea I use is between 10 to 12 kgs in 1 bigha. Out of 5 bigas of my land, I sow wheat, tomatoes and papaya in 2 bigas. The yield of my crop is good. I use chemical fertilizers in 15 bigas of my land and in the rest 5 bigas, I do organic farming. Integrated nutrient management can be easily practiced with the use of 50% of essential nutrients. Say in case of maize, if one has to give 90 kg of nitrogen, then 40-50% to can be given through urea, DAP and remaining 50% should be given by using FIM, vermin compost, green manuring, etc. There are around 25 such natural fertilizers which farmers can prepare in their own fields. If they really manage to get this done, then the potential of the soil will increase and because one is also adding urea, the soil will get nutrients instantly. I believe that the soil should maintain its organic carbon. If we grow moong or dhansa before growing other crops, then our fields develop a sponge-like padding which helps to save water. If it rains inadequately, then too this sponge helps to retain moisture. If the quantity of water is managed properly, the amount of urea used can also be reduced. Now, the situation is such that the more straw we mix in our fields, the better it is for the soil productivity. You have now learnt and understood how excessive use of urea is harmful for the soil and its produce. The crop grows well, but the excessive urea also harms the crop significantly. The plants become heavy and can easily fall. In fact, most of the urea is not even absorbed by the plants and just pollutes the environment. This also increases the risk of damage to the crops by insects, pests and diseases. Now, we'll also nourish our plants as they require. Yes! yes. <laughs> so in this way, the nation Nithu stopped the excessive use of urea in their fields and also started using modern farming systems such as getting the soil of the farmland regularly tested and accepting the recommendation of using urea, phosphorus and potassium in the ratio of 4 is to 2 is to 1. Adopt the proper intercropping and crop rotation while growing legumes and pulses. Neutralize the pH value of the soil, avoiding soil erosion to prevent the nutrients loss and microorganisms in the soil are not destroyed. Laser and leveling. Do not forget to use FYM compost and green manure along with chemical fertilizers. So crops at the right time and using the right method. Also provide the crop with the right fertilizer at the appointed time. Area specific improved varieties of crop to be used. Use appropriate amounts and good quality seeds only after seed treatment. Use proper irrigation systems, drainage management and fertigation. Practicing weed management. Save your crops from pests and disease and harvest them at the right time. Do not burn the straw after harvesting the grain. Instead, use it as compost. Thus, by adopting a healthy and modern agricultural system and optimizing the use of urea and other fertilizers, move towards a future full of prosperity and happiness. देख उग रहा है कृषि क्रांति का सूरज नया तेरी प्रगति की राह पर दीपक नया उन्नत कृषि की ओर तू बढ़ा अपने कदम सिर्फ यूरिया ही नहीं दे पौधों को दे संतुलित पोषण कभी होगा तेरी और देश की प्रगति का संगम अपना नए तरीके और भर खेती में नई जान क्योंकि सही परिमाण सही मिलेगा 
सही परिणाम 